I got the Travis Scott Air Maxes in hand right now. Let's take a look. I never answered a no, man, I still go. Go, 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 Travis Scott Air Max is in hand. First look. Before we dive into this, I want to thank Griffin for locking up on these and then letting me get my hands on them for a review. So shouts to Griffin for locking down the pair and congratulations. We'll talk about the money later, but this was a great cop. If you didn't see my last video about the colorways that they dropped of the Cactus Jack Air Maxes, refer back to that. We talked a lot about how the market changed with these after Astro World and then what happened to the market whenever they finally confirmed that these pairs were going to drop. It was a roller coaster ride. I'm not gonna lie. When Whenever I saw people start to get these in hand, I saw pictures of them and I was like, not totally sold about them anymore. I thought that this was the best colorway they released. I liked these the most, but even this colorway, after I saw photos, I started to get a little bit hesitant about it. Maybe the bigger sizes don't look as good. Now that I have them in hand, I like them. Really, really clean collab, done well. Color blocking is great on this specific pair. Lots of cool material and texture on these. The toe box is like a mesh netting. Seems super light and breathable. We've got some of the same material on the quarter here. Backwards check, of course. What would a Travis Scott be without a backwards check? And then we've got some awesome stitch strap that works its way around the heel. Of course, we've got the two heel patches on these, one with a Nike flag and one with the Cactus Jack flag. Travis Scott is starting to work his Cactus Corporation brand into the collabs. We've got the Cactus Corporation patch on the tongue and then the text on the outsole. The colors of these laces really pop. I think the colors of the laces and then the accent and the straps really make this shoe come together. It just makes them a little less boring. I'm not a huge Air Max guy in general, but these are really dope. We got the two-tone sole with the cream color midsole and then the slate colored outsole. The toe box is lined with suede. Same with the inside quarter and the small section around the check. A lot of different colors. It doesn't seem like there's a lot of different colors because they're all browns for the most part, but lots of different tones and they all tie together really well. These come with replacement laces, but honestly, why would you swap these? As crazy as Nike is with some of these designs, I'm surprised they didn't come stock with the brown ones. As a sneaker head, I'm stoked that these actually dropped and we didn't have any sort of cancellation with all of the backlash that Travis got after Astro World. I'm not defending anybody or taking anybody's side. I'm just here for the sneaker culture and very thankful that we got this shoe. And since these dropped, hopefully that means we're going to get even more Cactus Jack collabs. Let's take a minute to talk about the money on these. We talked about how the market changed on these in my past video. This is a size 10. Right now, these are sitting on apps for around 5 to 525. I believe there's an offer right now on GOAT for like 516. I'm pretty confident that he could sell these for anywhere between that 460 mark and around $500. These retailed for 150 bucks. So if he's able to pull in 500 from these, he's going to make around $350 profit. And that's a pretty good lick on one pair of shoes. As far as holding or quick flipping, there's nothing wrong with collecting profits early on these. If you can make three, $350 on a pair of shoes, I'm doing it all day long. I really don't think that these are going to restock. And if they do, it's going to be in low quantities. I don't think there's actually going to be a restock. There might just be some stores that were holding stock that didn't push these on release date. That's just my gut feeling. Could be wrong, but I really do believe that Nike is not going to produce any more pairs of these. Are these going to get back to the prices they were fetching whenever they canceled the release originally? Probably not, but it wouldn't surprise me if they touch a $700 range in the near future. After all, they're great quality and a dope collab. Tell me what sneaker reviews you guys want to see next. Drop them in the comments below. Hit me up on IG. Tell me what you want to see. The handle is the same at all AB sneakers. I post reels on my IG as well, giving you quick sneak peeks at pairs of sneakers that I have in my inventory right now. So make sure you drop a follow there. Stay up to date with that type of sneaker content and sneaker news that I drop on my stories. I'm going to have a release guide dropping for you guys next week. So make sure you subscribe. Make sure you've got your notifications on for whenever that drops so you don't miss out on any opportunities to make money this month. Thank you guys for watching and do not forget this is all about sneakers.